Hey guys, today I'm going to make a uh, jom kha gai for dinner Thai chicken soup. This dish is really, really popular, guys, in here and in Thailand. Well, I actually want to live in Thailand. I don't see any popular because we eat it every day, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, this eat the uh, mushroom, the my my tail or my chin. I think I'm not sure that I tried before that, but it looks like it's okay, but okay. it's like um oyster mushroom. See this one? Two Thai that I recommend you when you would um make Thai soup. It one the oyster mushroom or and this one and I think it's this one look like the oyster oyster mushroom. Anyway and Maybe three try uh, tea tight. Well, uh, my tongue's twisted. Sorry, tea uh, three tight of the mushroom. So this one and oyster mushroom and the store mushroom in a can. This one cannot fry anywhere in a dump the water. It the store mushroom, guys. So you know what? This when I live in Thailand, I actually never buy this stuff, guys. Well, because it grow in the wood, and when it rain, you suspect we have to go find where it grows so we dig out from the wood. So this actually well, it's ex really expensive guy in Thailand though. But more the time when you see the rain at night, you should go out and hunt it. That that's why I never buy this stuff. I actually never go hunt myself, but my mom she did. I don't think that my dad never did that. Only my mom. Anyway, I'm going to cut it the bottom off here. I'm not gonna eat that, guys. So we're gonna take this one apart. Mm -mm, this very really fresh guy. I love it. Mm. Oh, today, to, um, Cody birthday. We were. Uh, have a lot of fun guys so our first time Cody birthday party guys it was Cody not happy a little bit because when he um, saw the toy the gift toy from Zoe body for him because he want to play with the toy he want to open the truck but we want him to enjoy his playing with his friend but he refused guys that's not fun for me guys and I'm gonna dump this water out here, guys. This is actually my favorite mushroom, guys. Don't use the white mushroom and what is it? Um, Bella mushroom? No, it's don't try that one, guys. It's not good. And I use the chicken breast here. I cut into small pieces. I'm going to use uh, lamb leaves here. And I told you guys in my video of the chicken lemongrass. It's really hard to find this one, guys. You can order online. That what my husband did for me. And it's kind of really expensive, guys. And you can uh, use the kailanggo. This one I grow in my uh, backyard with this fresh and smell so good so I cut in into slime pieces right like this guys and this uh, lemon glass so I just match it up and cut into uh, maybe two inches apart here I'm going to use the coconut milk so this coconut milk and an orange is on sale right now you guys hurry up and get it so I got like 10 of them because it 159 it's usually over two dollars for a can. We're gonna use tamarind juice. We're gonna use some um, a little bit of salt and MHTs. Okay, and we're gonna move. I'm gonna move my camera into the stove. So now we're going to cook this. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm already my water for the make a soup here really hot here. I'm gonna leave this one out. Pretty hot, huh? 
and I'm gonna dump all my um, lemongrass, lamb leaf, and cayenne Okay. I'm gonna dump. I have a little tiny kitchen, guys. There's a lot of water in here because Cody loves chicken soup, guys. So I make a big pot for him. Don't want it. I'm gonna use a little bit of salt in it, guys. We're gonna use the fish salt later, guys. This did help me um get a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna let this one um boil a little bit before I dump my chicken in there. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna close my lid. Oh, one thing I forgot it as shallow sky. And I'm, I'll be right back with. Okay, guys. Let this cook. Um, I don't know. Up, about maybe ten minutes. I'll be right back, guys. Got wet. Okay, guys. I'm back. So this my this cook about about twenty minutes. I'm gonna. Then my chicken in there. So this chicken I cut really small so it doesn't take that long to cook guys. Right, I'm going to get my MHG here guys. Add my turmeric juice so you don't put it too much. You just um, put some a little bit and you'll taste it how it tastes like. Okay. And I'm going to use then my coconut milk in there. Sorry, guys, Cody. Cody, quiet, honey. Um, needs a little bit of salty. Um, where is it? My fish salt. I'm tasting this guy. Mm, that's really good, guy. A little bit more. Now, see, I'm gonna let the um, chicken cook uh, maybe 10 minutes. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. So, I'm going to dump my uh, mushroom in there. In the can, I'll first run dump in the same time, guys. a little bit mm, I'm gonna add um a little bit of tamarind here I'm gonna close the lid, let the mushroom cook, and the last one I'm gonna add it shallots, guys. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Um, my mushroom is cooked. See there? I'm going to use um them in my shallots. This one you don't have to if you don't like it. You know you don't put in. 
but my husband and I love it actually in recipe to use some of it but I use this a lot because you know I like it so okay, there are my shallots in there um, how long it cook it's up to you you want to be um, not overcooked or too much cook it's up to you I'm gonna cook maybe a um, couple minutes because the shallots cook really fast not, it doesn't take that long to cook at all guys And you just, you know, stirring and tasting how it tastes like to you guys. It tastes like a bit of, you know, fish sauce and taste of coconut and the tamarind juice, sour, you're right? Not sour, like a lamb juice. It tastes different. I like to taste it how you know what I ever need. Mm -hmm. Already tastes good guys. Okay, this this is the yeah, shallots just cooking it. I'm gonna close the lid a little bit. After I will be right back after I cook this down and oop, I will put this in a bowl and serve. But I didn't know. So Cody and my husband love it, so me too. I'll be right back guys. Okay hey guys, I'm back here. My chicken soup is pretty hot and smell good. So it's actually Thai people eat with the uh, steam rice so together. In here they're selling kind of likes in the appetite menu. I'm not sure why is that, you know. I really don't know, but in Thailand, we eat this the main meal. Oh, it different here. People is like uh, too much lulexi or snobbies or whatever it is that you have to eat the appetite main course dessert like all kind of stuff. Nope, in Thai culture, we eat this for one meal. That's it. You're done. So not just decorate your tiny piece in one place like uh, what. Not enough for me, even though I'm this small, I eat a lot too. Have to be Thai food, I eat a lot. Okay, here guys, that my Thai chicken soup, the, my, the way how I cook it, you know, you see somebody eat, eat different thing and you know, it's the eat different way. I, I get, I support it, how they raise it. But uh, the fun thing, the fact that I hear that when people, you know, from different countries, they try to cook Thai food, but it's not like Thai food at all guys like Chinese try to open try to open Thai restaurant and you think that gonna taste any good because they don't exactly know what's supposed to be in it you know how to taste like how to cook how to do that thing I never go out to eat Thai food at a restaurant guy I prefer to cook it myself okay that's it guy here my uh, Tom Kakai for dinner tonight. Thank you guys for keep watching my video. See you guys later. Bye guys.